Okay, so I might regret asking this question <laughs> because I might know what it is. And if it's that one, never mind. <laughs> what was one of your worst gigs? <laughs> oh, well, um, <laughs> as, as somebody who's been playing full time for a while uh, and longer than that, part time, there's a lot of worst gigs. Yes, yes. But actually, I, you were not present for this one. Um, this one was uh, a show up north. I don't know if I should name names. Probably not. Um, no. But I was playing a venue up north. Uh, and it was a smaller town. And it was a really, really big stage in the middle of a restaurant. So it was like a stage that was set up uh, for like, you could fit two bands on the stage. So it's this carpeted stage with a drum riser in the back. And it was just really a restaurant. It wasn't even really a bar. Um, but they had me as a solo acoustic guy to play for all these people eating. And it was a four hour gig, which if, if you're a performer, you know that playing four hours is a long show uh, to yeah. do uh, as a band, but especially just to do by yourself. Um, but you know, I was kind of used to that, but I was largely ignored. Uh, the room was clearing out. Uh, by the time I played my last set, the room was 100% empty. And I'm just slogging it away, trying to get to the end of the gig. Just, just playing, playing songs, playing songs. And I get up to my last song, finally. And the restaurant, the, the workers came in to where I was playing. They didn't tell me I could be done. They just shut all the lights off on me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, that was that was that was that was the goodbye. So that was probably one of the worst gigs ever. Um, yeah, I'd say well, so. Well, also, there's this one I thought of that I can probably mention the name because they're not in business anymore. But this was up off M30, <laughs> Jimmy Jake's Bar. Oh, my God. A few times. Jimmy so Jake's. They, one beer on tap was Blatt's. I Blatt's. Remember. Yeah. I don't, did, we probably were drinking Blatt's because that was all they That's had. That's all they had. Yep. That's it. <laughs> Shout out to, is Blatt's still around? Is they still making Blatt's? Yeah, they probably still are. Yep. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah that one i remember very specifically not not i mean yeah so uh we, we were playing that uh and we had kind of a standing gig there <laughs> standing awful gig <laughs> where there were usually uh well let's see how many people were in the band we had was that five 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 man band i think on a on the full yeah i think it was five people we like were, a five man oh, band we everybody yep and that means that there were usually seven people in the bar there was us five the bartender and then that guy who was passed out from drinking too much blats with his head on the bar <laughs> yep. uh, except for that one time that that uh, friend of scott showed up uh who was uh, playing scott was playing bass at the time yeah i'm not going to share all that story but yeah, uh, yeah. that's what i was thinking of <laughs> <laughs> we'll save that for another day okay Little right, mystery. So, okay, now I'd like to show you some of the cool music programming Adam is offering to anyone online who wants to check out or check out his Facebook page. It was called Privilege, you said? Privilege, yeah. Yeah, that one's actually a song by another songwriter, uh, James Hainis, uh, that we just did as part of our new, uh, we're calling, uh, what Sarah and I are doing during, during the quarantine, what we're calling the Slipper Sessions. And we're starting a new songwriter challenge where we cover local artists and uh, try to encourage them to do the same. 